this is Ginny from Homestead Corner and today I just wanted to show you how I make up my holiday potpourri. This is um, just out of things that I have in the house. Um, you can use pretty much any dried thing um, to do this, which I really love. You can really mix it and match it and make it your own. One thing I really love in my holiday mix is dried cranberries. I just love these. They are so pretty and they're just a beautiful color when you get them dried. I just, I love them. And uh, you can, these are really easy to dry. I put them in my food dehydrator, but they can, um, you can do these in the oven on like 150. You really gotta keep an eye on them in the oven so you don't scorch them. But if you have a food dehydrator, these are super easy to dry. And you could just set it and let it go for all day and come back later. And uh, But these are great for that. And these they look so pretty in the potpourri. Um, you can use uh, curly wood stuff, dyed wood things, pine cones, cinnamon sticks, rose hips. They're just, it's endless the amount of stuff you can make, you can use. So I just like to use this wooden bowl. Uh, it's just a little wooden bowl I picked up at the thrift store nothing fancy it's just kind of old looking and we love that old holiday home traditional look um, we live on a little homestead so we keep it you know just kind of traditional and nice but this is so easy and all you have to do is pick out the hardest part is picking what you want to put in it so this one here I'm going to put these dried cranberries in I'm just going to pour them right in the bowl. I love this. There, so we got our dried cranberries in there. And another thing I love in there to give it that really Christmassy look is my kids love collecting these little hemlock pine cones. And uh, they're just little teeny pine cones from the hemlock trees out back. So my kids love collecting these, so I've always got like scads of them everywhere and um so these have you know literally no cost i'm sure you could find them online at craft supply or something like that if you don't have um little hemlock trees around but these are just perfect they really add a nice christmasy feel that rustic feel i like that oh we got a stick in there beep beep but uh just as many as you want and um and I have some dried orange slices. Uh, I really, these look really great in there too. They're just, these are over dried for crafts, not really dry for eating. Although you could hide, you could, you could definitely eat these. They're not, nothing wrong with them. They're great. Um, you could toss them in teas or whatever, but um, I like to throw some of those in there. And then really, I mean, this is, uh, you could just take your hands and mix this up. So it's all mixed nicely, however you like it to look. You can have them kind of sit on the side or poke them around however you like. And then once you get it mixed, I like to throw a couple cinnamon sticks on top. I like the way the cinnamon sticks look. Um, there's no special way, just however you like it to look, really. You can tuck them in the sides, have them kind of poking out or... However you want to do it. You can move it okay, around. Okay, so once you, like you have it. everything you're looking for in the bowl, you got it all mixed together in there. You're just going to scent this with essential oils is what I use. You can use fragrance oils, but I really don't like them. Um, I'm not really sure what's in them. Is there, you know, chemical and stuff like that. I like to use the essential oils because I know they're pure, therapeutic grade, um, and it would... There, we use the kinds that we would literally put on our skin or put in our diffusers, um, brands that we trust. So there are tons of different scents you can do. Um, I like a cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg together. Those three make a really nice blend. Um, you could throw, uh, you could do just pine, or we have this other like Christmas tree. Uh, from plant therapy. I love this scent. I think it's pine and black spruce mixed together. It's a really great like Christmassy scent It's called Christmas tree and the pine is great. 
um, orange and cedar wood. These are two others that I really like um, and are great to throw on there. Um, today I'm going to put on Christmas Spirit. This is my favorite holiday scent. I just love it. Um, it's from Young Living and I really like this scent. It just, it smells so Christmassy. Let's see what's in this one. It is orange, um, cinnamon, and black spruce. Oh my God, this scent, it's pretty cinnamony. Um, the high notes are definitely cinnamon and orange, and the black spruce is really low in here, but oh my God, the scent is just so Christmassy. So I just take and I put a few drops. We're just going to put, oh, I'm getting low. It does want to come out. Ah, it doesn't want to come out. Oh, there's a couple. Just like four or five drops in there. And I'm just going to mix this up. And oh my God, the smell is so, so good. And if you walk through the room and you don't really smell it, you could just kind of run your hand through it and mix it up and it kind of releases the scent, which is nice. And with the essential oils, it doesn't leave everything looking greasy if you don't use a carrier oil in it, if you just use the straight oil. So um, it, the scent is, oh my goodness, I just love that scent. It smells so good. And uh, it, you could just run your hands through it, kind of mix it up a little bit, and it will release the flavor of the scent over and over for a few weeks usually. And then when it gets low and when you mix it up and you can't really smell it, you could just add a couple more drops and you can switch up the scent or whatever. I love making my own potpourri because I just love how it turns out. And it's really exactly what I want. And it's really inexpensive to do. I mean, this is all stuff that I keep in the house and a $2 bag of cranberries that I threw in the dehydrator. So, um... So it's really great. So I'm also going to throw in these rusty bells. And I put these in after just because they're kind of heavy and they'll sink to the bottom. So uh, I just kind of sprinkle them around the top. And it just looks so cute. Just that little extra festiveness to it. So and then you can see the little, little bells in there. I just love this. It's so pretty. So that's it. Making your own potpourri is so simple and easy, and anybody can do this. I mean, it is so easy. It's just a matter of picking the dried items that you like and putting them together and adding a little bit of essential oil just to give it the scent that you like. And you can even, you know, it's great. You can pick that too. So it's really personalized, and you always love it, which is nice. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.